beauties welcome back to my channel so today i have another look using the new anastasia artist palette which you guys know i'm obsessed with so i decided to do this look it's something really fun and i just love it someone on instagram suggested for me to do more bolder looks you know using lip colors that are more out there so i wanted to do something more bright as you guys can see i didn't want to do something nude but of course you guys can change that you guys can use a nude lipstick maybe an orange one i don't know just whatever you guys want and of course i am using really dramatic lashes but you could change that you guys could use some really natural looking ones but yeah before i get into the video though i do want to say that i may have self tan really bad and so please don't mind the bad self tanning the girl's gotta do what she gotta do, right? <laughs> so I just hope you guys don't mind that. But um, just in case you guys are wondering what the hell is wrong with her hands, this is what is up, and I'm really embarrassed by it. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, if you guys want to know how to recreate this makeup look, then just keep on watching. <laughs> okay, so I have already done my brows and primed my eyes. For the eyes, I used the Painterly Paint Pod by MAC, and I applied this all over my entire lid, as you guys can see. So we're just going to go ahead and start with the eyeshadows. I'm going to grab Dusty Rose and apply this all over my entire crease. Next, we're going to take the color called Anaconda and we're going to be applying this on the inner and outer corner of our eye, leaving the center part open. Next, we're going to take the color green and apply it gently on our crease. Next, we're going to go into the color called buttery and apply this on the center of our lid. Now what I find easy is if you use your finger to then after you have done applying the eyeshadow, just kind of press it on and it'll just kind of blend it out just the way you want it. You want to grab your blending brush and just grab a little bit of that dusty rose color and then just blend it into your crease one more time. Next, you want to take your favorite black eyeliner. You can use liquid or gel. I'm going to go ahead and do both. First, I'm going to start out with this gel liner from Inglot, and then I'm going to go in and perfect it with the NYC liquid eyeliner. Okay, then after that, we're going to go ahead and apply a few coats of mascara. I'm using this one by Benefits called Roller Lash. After that, I'm going to go ahead and apply my falsies. The ones I'm using today are from Flutter Lashes. These are in the style Natalie, which are really, really extremely voluminous and really dramatic. But obviously, this is optional. I just like, you know, these type of lashes. But you could go ahead and use some that are more natural, more of your preference. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and use these for today. While we let our glue dry, we're going to go ahead and take buttery and apply this on our brow bone. And then don't forget to go ahead and blend everything out. After that, you want to go ahead and take a black eyeliner and then apply this on your tight line and also your waterline. Okay, you guys, now we're going to move on to the face. So, I'm going to go ahead and begin by priming it. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer. This is the smoothing primer, which is my absolute favorite out of all of them. So, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this with my fingers. Now for my foundation, I'm using the Estee Lauder foundation. This is the double wear. I absolutely love this foundation and what I'm going to do is first dot it all over my face and then I'm going to go ahead and start blending it with my beauty blender. Now 
Then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and set it with this Urban Decay foundation powder and I'm just gonna go and set my whole face with this. Now to give some color to my face because I'm a little too pale right now, I'm going to go ahead and use this bronzer by Too Faced. It's called the Sunny Bronzer. So far, this is my go-to bronzer at the moment. I just love how it looks and it just really bronzes up my face and it just looks so beautiful. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. For blush, I'm going to be using this Makeup Geek um, blush. It's called Infatuation. And I just really love the color, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop this on the apples of my cheeks. For my highlight, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Sculpting Duo in number 2. And I'm going to go ahead and take this color and just pop it on the highest points of my face. Now taking a stippling brush, we're going to go ahead and blend everything out. To finish off the ads, we're going to go ahead and take Dusty Rose again. And we're just going to go ahead and apply this on the lower lash line. Then after you are done applying that, we're going to go ahead and take the Anaconda again with that same brush and we're just going to apply a little bit underneath our lower lash line. And to finish off, we're just going to go ahead and apply a few coats of mascara to our bottom lashes. Okay you guys, now to finish off the look, we, all we need to do is apply our lipsticks. So I'm going to be using Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in, in the color Party Pink. It's a really, really bright color, but I mean somebody on Instagram suggested for me to do some looks using more brighter lipsticks. So I wanted to do something like this, a really, really bright pink. So. You know, it's just, it's just optional. You guys can use a new lipstick. I mean, I would really love to pair this with a new lipstick personally. But I want to get out of my comfort zone again and just, you know, do something more dramatic. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. Okay, after you're done applying your lipstick, you're pretty much done with this whole makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. And also, for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you join our family of the birdies. So, yeah. With that, my loves, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys so, so, so much. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye. Mwah.